So, what'd you think of the CKG scoop? As you can see, we have both the CKG scoop and what we have been using prior was the extreme scoop. Now, to be fair, we want to make a fair kind of review, right? Yeah, and yeah. compare both pros and cons. So that's why we brought both scoops out today. And both of our views on them are a little different. Definitely makes for an interesting review. Obviously, there is one extreme Oops. thing good about this <laughs> extreme scoop is that it's a lot wider. Um, which really helps with the digging, especially if you're a new detectorist and you're not quite sure about the target or you just want that like bigger pile to kind of like save some energy and just get that huge like Yeah, yeah, because if you have sanded in beaches like us, the more sand out of the hole, the better. Yeah. This one is very um, straight to the point. Like it gets, it gets in and down and deep, but it's like I said, just more narrowed in on to a target. There's obviously a different price point too. <laughs> so this extreme scoop is very, very expensive. This CK juice scoop is way more affordable at, um, this one's 159-ish. Ballpark, yeah, 150, $160. US dollars and this is- 650. 650 <laughs> USD. So huge, price difference. Massive. This scoop, the CKG scoop, will also break down and you could travel with it. Which is what I like about it and that's what we're going to be using. Right. So we are going to St. Thomas with these scoops um, in about a month or two and we're very, very excited um, because we actually do really like these scoops. But another thing is like when you're, when you are digging so narrowly with the CKG scoop, you have to kind of dig those other sides too, because you'll go so deep that you won't be able to get in anymore without falling in the hole yourself. Yeah. So that's another thing with this, when it's narrower, it doesn't, you, you risk the chance of like collect, collapsing in your hole. You know what I do? I dig a wider hole. If I start missing the target or if but I- But you don't know. I know, but I start, I start moving around the hole and I make a smaller hole wider. Mm -hmm. Cause it could be aluminum cans and the aluminum cans throw you. I know. It's hard, they're hard to pinpoint. Yeah, that's true. Well, I usually do like two, three down and then I go to the side and I do two, three that way. And then I turn around again and I do two, three that way. Unless, like I said, those were really deep and I knew they were really deep because of the arrows, the amount of arrows going down. So I was just like, okay. That doesn't even hold true. The arrows aren't even like no, completely accurate. they're not. If you got a small target, it's going to show a deeper target. So if you have a small target, hence like this earring, all right, this, this earring is a small target. You're going to end up on the Equinox, you're going to see a deeper target because it's so small. Mm -hmm. And you're going to think that you're digging you know, a five arrow deep target, but it could be like, you know, a few inches below the surface. That's true, that's happened to me too. The thing I also liked about the CKG scoop is, I do like the handle here, but I did miss the handle that is over here, um, which we added to our extreme scoop. We added the handle the here. The Lotus grip. So I do wanna actually get one for the CKG scoop as well. It's already on order. Okay. <laughs> because I actually do like that. But neither scoop comes with that handle, but this one, the CKG scoop, does come with the shake handle. Yeah, which is nice, and I used it. I did it, too. And it works well. Yes. I'm very so happy with it. So what I would do is I would kind of slide my hand up, um, get some sand out, and then when it became like lower, then I would start using the handle. It was just because that was comfortable for me. I just like kind of swung it up and then grabbed the handle That's and you did? shook it out. Yeah. yeah. So for me, it was more like I wanted to do this, I guess maybe because I'm used to it, and then I would be like, no, let me use this handle, and it was, yeah. it was good. Another thing I liked about this is that I felt like the holes were smaller, so less things True. fell through. Yeah. So the holes on the CKG scoop are definitely a little bit smaller than some of these holes on the extreme. So the back part. Is so the narrow, yeah. Is, is, yeah, is the narrower holes, but these are a lot bigger than these. Yes. So they both, they both really have pros and cons. Pros and cons. Yeah. Um, for our purposes, for, you know, a sanded in beach, this might be better. Yeah. But for vacation purposes and when it's summer, 100%. this Hands is going to get right to your target. Hands down. 
that's going to be a great, great travel school. I can't wait to uh, use it again in St. Thomas. Oh, me neither. Now, I know you said with the CKG scoop, you had a little bit of um, uncertainty with the middle part. There's a little bit more flex, and I just didn't anticipate it, and I should have, considering the fact that it is split in the middle. The Extreme Scoop has a thicker handle than the CKG scoop yeah, does. does, right? So I am used to really yanking on that on that on that handle because it can handle it. It it's strong. It's like super super strong carbon yeah. fiber. This has a little bit more flex to it, but once I got once I realized it and I got used to it, fine. Mm -hmm. I, I had no issues with it. I like it. I really really like it. I like and it too. I think that any any person who is just starting out or even somebody who's you know just using it to travel with, mm -hmm. it's the perfect scoop for you. It gets deep into the sand, as, mm -hmm. as you guys saw. If you guys saw that hole that I dug, I helped Angela out dig a hole and it was like three feet deep. <laughs> so it had no problem digging deep holes. No, and I didn't feel any... Um... At any point, it was going to like snap or break, yeah. break. No, it felt pretty sturdy, even though it has that little bit of give in the middle. But to me, like I wasn't picking up as much probably as you were with it. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, the tape that I put on there, it did hold up. So We haven't used it in the wet yet. You might as well explain that again about the masking tape. The tolerances are a little light. Um, they missed it by like that much, like a hair. So I wrapped it with masking tape between um, the carbon fiber and metal. Yeah. We didn't want that banging against each other. Especially when you make YouTube videos, you don't want that sound constantly yeah. like... Yeah, it's distracting. In the video, yeah. Nobody wants to listen to that. So he eliminated the sound completely. He eliminated the shake in the base here. You guys, listen, check them out. If you're looking, if you're in the market for a sand scoop, good option. I, I'll tell you what, I love it. And we'll have it, we'll have it linked down in the description below um, for this exact model, the one that we're using. Final thoughts. I can't, you know, like Angela and I both came up with the fact that like, we think that the CKG scoop is about 80% of what the extreme scoop is. As far as build quality and ability to get out there and dig. I feel confident in saying that. Right, I do too. And for being so used to an extreme scoop, a $600 scoop, and then going to a $159 scoop, I didn't really notice much of a difference. I was never yeah. like, oh, I wish I had my extreme scoop right now. It never had us wanting. No. Um, there, was, there were times where I was like, oh, I hope I'm in the right place because this is kind of narrow. But right. other than that, it wasn't like a huge, like, oh my gosh, this right. sucks, you know, kind of feeling. No, no, we were able to dig all day with it. You know, Mark and I were talking. He said the thing about it does about 80% of the scoop. And I said, yeah, for a third of the price. Yeah, so right. The other difference is, you know, you got stainless steel as opposed to titanium. The weight. And the strength. The, the strength, strength of the metal. Yeah. We weren't digging in rocks or anything. I've dug in rocks with this oh, thing. Oh, yeah, me too. It's a beast. It is a beast. It's a beast. So if you have a rocky beach, titanium is the way to go. I would be almost strong. a little bit nervous, maybe to like... Ding it up, bend it. Get some rocks up in there. Yeah. But it, I don't know. We just have to test it out. And the more we use it, the more we know. And, you know, we'll, we'll keep, keep going. We'll keep you guys posted. Yeah, we'll definitely keep going. St. Thomas, baby. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> so CKG, thank you again for sending us those scoops for review. We hope we gave yeah. you a fair shake. Once the beaches get a little less sanded in or, you know, depositors start coming back, we will definitely be able to really see how these two scoops compare to each other. Because we've had the extreme scoop all this time and now we've just used this one. So yeah. thanks for watching. I'm going to throw up two other videos. Check them out if you're interested. Comment below if you have any comments or questions. And we'll see you in the next video. To dive and detect, we go deep. What's that, like three feet? Easy, right? Four feet, maybe? Three feet. <laughs>